you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is straightforward. I've listened to the witness being cross-examined by the governor's attorney, and I've also listened to him giving the same answering when he was being re-examined by his attorney. And the question to me, which I want to be clear, is that were these documents ever received in your office? Because when you were being asked by the attorney for the governor, you made responses to the affirmative. But when you are being re-examined, you introduce a new word and say it's a forgery. So which is which? You know, that to me really bothers me. I want to be clear, because if you look at volume 1B of the governor, from page 55 all the way to page 68, there are letters which have got stamps from your office. The, the, uh, the governor's lawyer has also referred you to the register. And in your submissions, you affirmed that that record was indeed a record from your office. So which is which? Did you ever receive? Is it a forgery? And if it is, which statement do you stand with? Do you stand with the statement you gave during your re-examination or the statement that you gave during the cross-examination? Uh, and honorable senators, the questions which have been asked by the governor's counsel did not relate at all to the three documents which, I, which are purported to come from my office. What the senior counsel questioned me about is about June and other uh, record behind that. But what has been forged is those appearing as from September to March. And these are the ones I've confirmed that they are forged, even the way the stamp has been put and you compare with any other correspondence from my office, you realize that this was actually a, a, an act of just fraudulent act in those three documents. And Mr. Speaker, because I received a correspondence from the county secretary the other day about the same delay that is on 17th July, we received in the same book and Mr. it is Clark. here. 